Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I uh, just want to do a little video on an issue that I had on my car a couple of days ago. So basically, it was a uh, happened like at the end of the day, pretty much. I was using my car the whole entire day, went shopping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, went to the Home Depot, parked it there, went in, grabbed some stuff, came out. Got into my car, tried to start it, and did not start. It didn't crank. And uh, I was very surprised at that because, um, let me see. I don't know whether I was surprised at that or not because I did change up the battery about a month and a half ago. So I was um, a little bit surprised that that, that 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 happened because I had that issue happen uh you know, about a month ago when I when I had to go out and, and change up the battery. Uh, pretty much the same situation kind of, but kind of not. So basically, everything worked. Kind of like the same situation as a month ago. Everything worked in the car. Um, blow motor worked, the heater worked, the dash lights came on. Um, remote worked, everything worked. All right, and uh, it wouldn't crank at all. I tried to crank it a couple of times. It would not crank uh, at all. I just heard a click every single time I try to, you know, start it. I just heard a click every single time. So had me scratching my head a little bit, and I thought maybe, well, I thought, you know, that battery situation was fixed for a long while, years, because uh, a, a new battery would should last you about four to five years. But unless there was an issue with the battery itself or maybe, you know, the terminals were loose or something like that. But anyway, um, I went out and turned on the headlights, the head beams, the headlight beams, just to see how strong they were. See if it was the, actually the battery that was the cause of it. And the beams were very, very, very bright. So at that point, I was kind of on the fence about whether the battery or not. I opened up the hood, popped it in looked around uh, the battery area just to see whether it was um, something wrong with the way it you know the terminals were were, were, were plugged in and um, and uh, I was looking at it and um, the terminals were a little bit dirty the terminals were a little bit dirty so um, I took the uh, terminals off had some coca-cola uh, poured some Coca Cola on the terminals, got some paper towels that I had, and wiped them, popped them back on, and then tried to start the car again. And it would do the same thing. It wouldn't. It wouldn't crank at all. Everything else worked. It just would not crank. So um, at that point, I went back out, uh, rechecked the terminals, make sure they were tight, and they were tight enough. I was able to wiggle them loose and, and stuff, but they were tight enough. All right, they were they were they were tight enough. So I I didn't think that it was the terminal that was the issue because they were clean enough also. And at that point, I was like, maybe I should look at the negative terminal just to see whether um, the ground was connected to the to to the frame of the car, whether um, there was any kind of uh, rust or any kind of corrosion there. So I, I checked it out and uh, everything was clean. And uh, that negative wire is the ground wire um, to uh, to any vehicle. So I, I was like, okay, all right. Um, let me see. The battery is good. Terminals are good. Uh, and uh, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm going to take out my power pack that I bought from... Um, from Walmart when I got the battery just in case I want one of these situations happen again because um, you know just to save myself some time and stuff like that uh, I popped it on and uh, I was for sure it was gonna crank up all right and I try to start it and nothing same thing click didn't do a single thing so at that point I was uh, able to rule out the battery altogether and I was able to rule out um, the alternator being the cause of the problem. And uh, the reason why I was able to rule out the alternator being the cause of the issue um, pretty much is this. Uh, you know, uh, if there was an alternator issue that was causing a problem with the car uh, not being able to charge the battery, etc., etc., just jumping it would have just jumped 
uh, you know, it would have cracked over, it would have, it would have ran, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But obviously, I'm making this video, you know, that didn't happen. So I was like, okay, okay, that's probably not uh, the issue uh, at all. So I, I was able to rule out the alternator. Um, the battery, the ground wires, the terminals, which for the most part, many, many, many times, uh, those would um, be um, the main issue of something like this. So, um, at that point, I was scratching my head over it. I was thinking, um, what else could it be? I mean, could it possibly be, uh, you know, something wrong? And, and I did have a check engine light, and, and I know that check engine light was for emissions, all right? But um, I had an OBD2 reader, you know, one of these $19 OBD2 readers that you can get at Walmart, and um, I plugged it in. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't uh, anything uh, as far as, you know, the computer was concerned. But just to make sure, I plugged it in and uh, ran the OBD2. It ran straight through. Read it. Um, obviously, that or that check engine light for emissions popped up, but nothing else popped up. So at that point, um, I could also I was able to rule out a bunch of other things. Um, the computer itself, I was able to rule out since it actually read the whole entire um, uh, um, ECU. Uh, the car's computer I was able to it was able to read that so I could just rule that out I was able to rule out um, anything else that may have a sensor that would cause it but I'm pretty sure uh, with a no start no crank situation um, it really doesn't have that much to do with sensors as far as um, the mass airflow sensor the uh, the throttle position sensor um, crankshaft and all that stuff because normally those things going out it would actually create a situation where you could crank up your car but you just wouldn't be able to um to 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 start it so anyway at that point i was left with a, a couple of things uh i was left with a couple of things that i could try to figure out whether you know whether I could fix it or not. And uh, a couple of those things would be the fuses and the relays. Now, I opened up the fuse box and, you know, checked out the fuses just to make sure that there weren't any kind of brownish uh, tint to any of the fuses just to uh, give an indication that that, that fuse was blown. Just this, I, I wasn't able to smell anything that was burned though. So, so basically, I knew that it wasn't you know that and I couldn't pick it up I didn't have a fuse tester with me so I couldn't pick it up if any of the fuses um, had issues but it from 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 eyesight alone I could tell that none of them were probably uh, uh, the, the problem but um, that but I, I I can recall two cases where I've had uh, issues with this kind of situation where I had a no crank no start where uh, the fuse was the cause of it. One of those situations was with a an Acura, and uh, the main fuse of that car uh, was blown. The main fuse of that vehicle was blown, and uh, it pretty much caused a an ab absolute power outage throughout the whole entire car. In that situation, there was absolutely no power at all inside the car, as if. Uh, the uh, the terminals were taken off the battery, and uh, once I changed up that main fuse, everything started up again. Everything worked. Everything was good. So, um, but uh, unfortunately, that wasn't uh, the same situation as I had a couple of days ago because I was getting power, it just wasn't cranking up. Um, and uh, the other situation with a fuse I had was with another vehicle that I had, and that situation was with <clears throat> the car, uh, not the car cranking but not starting. And that situation was um, a result of a um, a fuse, uh, a fuse to the alt a fuse to the, the to the fuel pump. Or to the ECU, the car's computer, and once I swapped those out, um, it had no problem starting. 
but since since um, it's not cranking at all, I you know I could rule that. Out. I could rule those two scenarios out as far as the fuse is causing um, this particular situation. So now that you know, you know, I I couldn't rule out the fuses a hundred percent at that point, but but since I didn't have a fuse tester with me going through those two scenarios, um, I was pro I was gonna rule those out. Um, I was actually looking for a quick fix. So here's the thing about it. All right. Now there's after that there's only a couple of things that I could think of that could cause that situation. Generally speaking. All right, um, the 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 starter or the uh, relays. Now, um, I didn't think it was the starter because I did change out the starter about a year ago. I, the starter was changed out a year ago. So, and uh, the starter that I bought was a brand new starter. Now, there are chances that the starters uh, do go out, but um, in this situation, um, I was thinking. Uh, Rebuilt starters go out more than, you know, new starters. And the starter that I bought was an OEM starter. Okay. So I was like, okay. I'm crossing my, I was crossing my fingers that it could be the relay that was the issue. All right. That's me crossing my fingers thinking that that was one of the relays. Probably a starter relay that was causing the issue. And um, I, I went to the, looked at the relays. Um, checked the relays out. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, if you guys know anything about relays, it's not, it's not, it's not something that you could probably, you know, visually check to see whether, you know, the, something is wrong with it or not. Um, normally relays make, um, uh, clicking noises and stuff like that. And, uh, I was hearing a click, but it could have been, um, the, the, the clicks were faint. I was hearing a click. So anyway, I got out and um, I got out. Anyway, uh, I, I, I checked out uh, the relays and uh, found out where the starter relay was. Uh, what I did was uh, I, I, took the, I took it out just to inspect it just to see whether there's any kind of corrosions on, an, on, the, uh, uh, on, 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 on the stems or not. And uh, didn't see too much corrosion on the stems. Uh, now, normally what, what, what that situ this situation would entail as far as me testing it was concerned was if, if there was somebody else who could listen to the um, the, uh, the the relay clicking when when you know when I'm in the car and stuff like that I could be able to tell 100% probably not 100% but uh, whether that was the issue or not but I, what I did was um, instead of doing that I, I checked for another relay that had the same uh, you know I checked for a relay that was similar an identical relay in the box and uh, what I did was just to test it out I took the relay out and then swapped it I, I took the relay out and then swapped it and once I swapped it um, I tried to crank the, the, the car up and bam it actually cranked up it cranked up uh, it started so at that point I knew that it was a malfunctioning uh, relay now so, uh, I I went to I was able to drive it to AutoZone, uh, bought a another relay, popped it in. It works. It's been working since. So it was the relay, the starter relay that was the problem. Uh, just wanna tell you guys that I I did hear the click. I think the the relay um, was malfunctioning. It was working. The relay was working, but it was malfunctioning. I think that was the main problem uh, with the relay itself. The main problem with that issue was that it was working, but it was malfunctioning. Now, I didn't really care enough to do, uh, 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 you know, that test, but I did hear the click. And normally when it when you hear the click, it means that the relay is working, uh, which kind of caught me off guard. But it was working, but I think it was malfunctioning. That's why it wasn't, that's why it wasn't, um, uh, you know, starting the vehicle, starting the car. So at that point, um, you know, uh, if you guys are in this situation, I'm sure you guys are. If you guys are watching this video, um, you know, if you guys want a quick fix for it, 
um, hopefully you guys do get one of these quick fixes like I had um, pretty much what you guys should do is could do is go down um, the list uh, of stuff that I eliminated as far as uh, you know everything I eliminated before getting to uh, what the main problem was um, generally speaking after that after the relay if it wasn't the relay, um, I, you know, my my first guess would have been uh, the starter being the issue. Um, but regardless, um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have a comment, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe, and uh, you know, please give me a thumbs up if this video uh, has helped you guys out in any way. All right, guys, take care.